Hello guys, welcome to the Debug Arena. In this video, we are going to use async storage in React Native. So first, go to your web browser and in install this package. Search for React Native and click on this link. Then copy this and run it in your terminal. I had already installed this package. Now let's import async storage. Now, the first thing is what is async storage and why do we need that? You can say async storage is a type of a database which stores the data in your own mobile application. Like if you store value in async storage, then it will be available to all of your component in your application. So you can access it anywhere and that value will be available until you clear the data. So it is very useful. There are many scenarios in which you can use the async storage. One is that uh, like if you have logged in screen and then home screen and you want that if user is logged in, then so home screen and if user is not, then so login screen. So this can be handled using uh, async storage. Like you assign a variable which says that whether is whether user is logged in or not. So let's see how can you store the data in async storage and get it. I had already imported async storage. One thing you have to remember that async storage take the value, uh, take the data in a value and the key and the value pair. So now I am giving here name as a key and value as a others. So what I am doing here is I am creating a variable named name and giving it value of others. Now let's retrieve it. Let's see how can we get that value. For that, I will be making the function a function async storage dot get item. It is very easy to get. You can see here that inside get item, I am uh, giving the variable name. One thing you have to remember that async storage is a type of asynchronous function, so you have to use async and await otherwise it will not give data now i am consoling this data with value now here i am using set timeout to call this function after one second So oh, you can see here. One now, let's go to console, <coughs> and you can see here that we are get, getting the value. So in this way, you can store the variable inside async storage. Now one more thing. Now let's store here a boolean value, like true. And when you do so, you can see here that we are getting some <coughs> error. Like it is saying that only string is allowed so what you can do is just you can write json dot stringify and inside that pass true and now let's see okay now you are getting true value okay but if you see now that this true is not boolean it is string you can see that this will be false like this is true, but this is not uh, a boolean value. It is treating it as a, st a string. And now, if we give string to true, to solve this, we have to just access the value like this. So it will solve that thing also. Now it will treat it like a boolean only. Now if I give here this. You can see here, we are getting true as a value. So in this way, it is a better practice to store the data inside a json.stringify and get the data in json.parse. Also, in the same way, we can store object and get that. So it is very easy to store a single value or the object. You can see here, we are getting this. And also we can get this value in any component of our react native application. So in this way, we can use 
async storage in react native very effectively if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe thank you